Hey guys, two quick things before I start the video. First of all, a quick explanation of today's video. Basically, I'm starting a series on my channel that will kind of give back for the success that I've been having on YouTube. I won't be doing these very often, but I think it's important to help out smaller YouTubers that I think deserve it. Um, I didn't have any help when I started. I managed to get this following all on my own, but I do remember the feeling when I reached out to people and didn't even get a reply. So yeah, basically I'm doing this because I want to stay true to my values as a YouTuber, and that's to help out smaller YouTubers. So today we're going to be talking about some general and a few specific topics about YouTube and a few other things. Uh, but yeah, thanks for clicking on the video. Secondly, I want to remind you to check out Battlefy.com. It's an awesome website that gives you the chance to sign up for free League of Legends tournaments. Need I say more? Link for that is in the description. Uh, but without further ado, let's actually get into the video now. In today's video, as you can see, it's titled podcast with another smaller youtuber that smaller youtuber is sam aka life um, i'll let him introduce himself but he's someone that i've known personally for about five or six months now um, we're both youtubers obviously he's a little bit smaller than i am but that's how we met we met through youtube and i just wanted to give him a chance to introduce himself to you guys to my channel because i think he's a really good youtuber and doesn't get enough credit for it so without further ado i'll let him introduce himself well, uh, to begin with there, thanks for those kinds, kind words. Uh, that I, that means a lot to me, man. But, uh, yeah, as uh, Heisman just told you guys, my name's Sam, or Life. I've been doing YouTube for quite a long time now, over three years. I actually started back in 2011, but the videos that I made back then weren't really too great. I don't really have an official start date for my channel, but I, I approximate it with around three years. Uh... Recently, my channel has been quite stagnant, and uh, I'm really glad for Heisman giving me this opportunity. Uh, I'm getting close to hitting 2,500 subscribers. I'm over 2,400, and uh, yeah, thank you again for having me on your channel, Heisman. It really means a lot, man. Yeah, no problem, dude. All right, guys, so while this is going to be an interview about him and who he is, I know that you guys want to hear my thoughts, you know, what do I feel about YouTube. Um, so because of that, he's also prepared some questions to ask me. Um, so, Sam, go ahead. You can ask me the first question. All right, awesome. So my first question is, when you watch YouTube, what do you mainly look for when searching for content to watch? Now, it can be like new content or content that you already subscribed to people for. All right, yeah. Um, so I'd say the first thing that for me I look for is definitely an appealing thumbnail, which is why I realized how important it is for me to have appealing thumbnails. Um, it's kind of silly when you think about it because it's basically judging a book by its cover. But because YouTube is so vast and you don't want to click on a video you won't enjoy, you're kind of forced to make these micro decisions about a video without actually watching it. And I think the production value of a video starts with a pretty thumbnail. All right, Sam, so while we're on the topic of YouTube, um, I just want to ask you, what is your biggest lesson from being a YouTuber? What has YouTube taught you? Uh, over the years, since I've been doing it for so long, uh, throughout the years, I started off in the Call of Duty community, right? So obviously everyone knows that the Call of Duty community isn't the biggest for support for newer people. And uh, I would constantly get hate, right? I would always get dislikes on my video. I would always get bombarded with those comments, you know, saying, kill yourself or get cancer. And you guys really just need to brush all that off. And it's, it's essentially taught me it's trained me to ignore those comments, to not take them seriously at all. And that, that's one of the main things you guys need to do if you're starting your YouTube channel. We can, you know, link that back to before. Don't give in to hate. Yeah, I'll definitely have to second that because um, it, it might not start at first. It might not be that bad. You might get a few hate comments here and there. And you might, you know, it might not be that hard to take in but eventually you're going to get bigger and people are going to start giving you shit and it's important to be able to endure that without letting it get to you too hard i mean sometimes i'll be honest it eventually it's going to get to you a little bit happens to everyone um including myself uh, but how you how you respond to that how you what lessons you take from that like how, how did you feel whenever you you know got offended by someone's comment how did you handle that um, moving forward, as long as you're like improving yourself and not letting it get to you 
over time that's that's all it takes and yeah i definitely have to second that because that's a really important thing it's like being a youtuber being anyone that has people watching your stuff there's gonna be people that dislike it there's gonna be people that literally leave comments telling you that you are the worst youtuber on the platform like people are gonna say that and you have to be able to take that and realize like that's just one person you can't appeal to everyone no the best singer in the world isn't going to be able to appeal to every audience right like there's still gonna be people that hate their work so you just have to realize that that's you can't dodge that like doesn't matter how good you are that's gonna happen all right so the next question i have for you sam is um so recently i'm sure you're aware of this there's been some changes with youtube i'm sure everyone watching this has also seen this from some of the bigger youtubers like pewdiepie even um they're now demonetizing videos that they deem non as not advertiser friendly um and in that new rule they state that content that's considered appropriate for advertising is content that does not have sexually suggestive content, um, violence of any sorts, inappropriate language, including harassment, swearing, and vulgar language, uh, promotion of drugs and regulated substances, and controversial or sensitive subjects and events, which includes subjects about political conflicts, war, natural disasters, etc. Um, I think, I personally think that this is a really big deal. Um, I just kind of want to get your opinion as a, as a YouTuber. What do you think, how do you feel about these changes and what do you think this will d mean for the YouTube community as a whole? How do you think it'll impact YouTube? Well, I've seen my fair share of videos on this whole topic and I've seen videos from both sides of the fence. And uh, I definitely have to be on the opposite side of everyone saying that, oh my god, this is such a controversial topic and all that. Now, of course, I do realize that that last rule there, the controversial topics, that's like, that, that's sort of questionable to me. But for content, creating content on YouTube is about being yourself. It's about having your own opinion and being able to talk about it with your viewers. Now, being a, the swearing rule, I think that's sort of silly. Now, I understand if you're an advertiser and you're like, hey, YouTube, I want to buy some ads on your website. YouTube's like, great. Now, would you like it to be kid-friendly content or do you care? You know, stuff like that. So when it comes to that whole topic, I feel that this isn't as big as a topic as it's blown out to be. Now, of course, advertisers are the ones paying for the ads on channels, right? So, they should be able to choose who they get to play the ads on, which videos they get to play the ads on. Now, in turn, I feel that YouTubers should be able to choose which ads are played on their videos if they have an issue with being chosen by the company. Right. Yeah, see, I think the weird thing about this whole situation is... I, th I almost feel like the not advertiser friendly is almost a scapegoat to make it seem more reasonable. I don't really understand how content can be considered non advertiser friendly by YouTube. I mean, I think the companies that are paying YouTube and then the creators for their ad space are probably the ones that would be able to deem it advertiser friendly. So it almost seems like YouTube's kind of a little bit power hungry about this whole thing. I don't know if it's really that big of a deal if someone says a swear word in a video i don't think you know companies are gonna care if i say fuck right like it doesn't matter yeah. like yeah. people aren't gonna click off the video and say you know what i'm not buying that product because that youtuber used some you know vulgar language so i think the whole thing's kind of silly i do understand the push though for a more like kid friendly environment on youtube and in, in general like as a whole it makes sense i think they went about it the wrong way um, so I, yeah. what you're saying, I also would have to agree with though. Uh, but yeah, I definitely don't think it's as big of a deal as everyone's making it out to be like, at least for me, like I've definitely sworn in a lot of my videos and they're still getting monetized. So yeah, it doesn't seem like at least yet, it doesn't seem like something that's going to really change YouTube as a whole. But if they do push it further, I, I do think it could be bad for YouTube because if they lose their creators, then you know, they're going to lose the eventually their platform. Uh, they're going to lose the competition, right? Yeah, exactly. And uh, another thing I can interject is uh, looking at the other side of it, the advertisers are looking at YouTube and they have to see it as, oh, this is a creation, sh creation site and this is where people will post their content. So 
it's sort of the advertiser's fault, in a manner of speaking, because they should know that, oh, anything, just about anything, obviously there's rules, restrictions, and all that, but pretty much anything can be posted to YouTube and advertised on. So I figure uh, while we're on the whole topic of YouTube and all that, since this is such a huge topic, I wanted to get your opinion for the fans as well as just for my general knowledge. What is your opinion on clickbait? So, yeah, this is a topic that literally I could go on and on about. Um, but basically, my opinion on clickbait is that it's very misunderstood. People, from a viewer's perspective, it's bad, right? Like, you hate seeing clickbait. And as a viewer as well, I understand that notion because you feel deceived when this happens. And it makes you feel kind of used by the creator. But coming from a creator's perspective, I must say that clickbait, most of the time, is completely fine. Um, as I said in an earlier question, you have to make micro decisions about a video in order to click on it because of how vast this platform is. So as a content creator, I get that. And so I know that my titles can't be boring. Uh, they have to reel viewers in. Um, if I'm not if I'm not worried about views on a video, then I won't do clickbait because I don't really care. But if I'm trying to grow my yeah. subscribers from that video that I just made, I'm, I tend to make it a bit clickbait-ish. And that's completely yeah, yeah. fine in my opinion. If I can supply good content that at the end of the day or at the end of the video, most people will be glad they watched it. Um, however, I will say that some content creators take it a bit too far and they clickbait unnecessarily. This is when the title has literally nothing to do with the video. Um, an example of a good clickbait is Night Blue. Um, all of his titles are super intriguing, but none of them are deceitful. I mean, they're all relevant to what's in the video, and his videos are so f are really fun to watch, so I don't really mind it at all. But then you have clickbaiters that are bad, and the prime example of this is Leafy is here, who at times can get under my skin like really badly because of his clickbait. Um, yeah. As a content creator, I don't like seeing that because um, his clickbait is has an intent to deceive, right? And I don't think that's right. For example, his title in one of his video was, my YouTube channel is getting shut down. And so when I click this video, I'm thinking, your channel better be getting shut down or else you just fucking clickbaited me with the intent to deceive, right? And of course, yeah. in the video, he just talks about the new monetization rule on YouTube and how it could <laughs> maybe affect his revenue. But in no way is his channel getting shut down. So yeah, that's I think that's a perfect example of clickbait. Um, he does it for the views. Like let's be honest, there's nothing wrong with that. But let's be honest, if you're clickbaiting that hard, it's for the views. Um, he could have just said in the video title, uh, "YouTube's new monetization policy is hurting me." Right? Like that would have been still kind of enticing, but it wouldn't <laughs> yeah, have yeah, been yeah. deceitful, right? Um, but 90% of clickbait from bigger YouTubers, bigger content creators are completely valid and not meant to deceive. So all in all, I don't, I'm not really against clickbait. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I definitely say for smaller creators as well, we can attach this as a nice little extra tip, I guess you could say, is that you do need clickbait at times to pull in some extra viewers, to pull in those people who haven't yet subscribed to you, or to even pull some people back who are already subscribed to you, but they haven't watched your videos in a while. Right, yeah, no, that's important. Like people are, as a viewer, you're against clickbait, so you don't do it if you get, just get into YouTube. But as you grow as a creator, you understand the importance of clickbait and how it kind of gets a false bad name. Um, and you kind of have to understand the difference, like I said, between a good clickbait and a bad clickbait. Yeah, that's a whole nother thing I could talk about. But to keep it simple, there's a difference between clickbait and the title having nothing to do with the video. And quote-unquote clickbait which isn't really clickbait because it has to do with the video and it's included in the video right yeah I exactly feel that people there's get a big confused. difference but they yeah they label it as the same thing but it's entirely different in my opinion um yeah it's it's a difference with clickbait if you have a really enticing title that doesn't mean it's clickbait clickbait is when you yeah. are deceiving them like it's the exactly. intent to deceive so i called it good clickbait but what it really is is just a good title so yeah exactly yeah all right guys so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up i want to leave one more question on the table for sam what do you want to say to my viewers who are tuning in right now um what do you want them to know about your channel so uh closing words for me uh something that i've truly followed throughout my whole life is this one motto and i saw it and thought about it 
really well and really thoroughly for one day, and that is everything happens for a reason. If you blow up, it's happened for a reason. If something happens to you in your life, something caused that to happen. But it's the reason for which you must find for an explanation as to why it happened. So with that, I want to thank you again, Heisman, for having me on your channel. Like uh, This opportunity is fantastic, honestly. And to anyone who is even thinking about coming over to my channel, I thank you. I genuinely thank you. I've had a lot of hardship in my life, and uh, there's this one video on my channel called My Story. It gets a bit in-depth about what has happened to me, but not even connecting to my real-life experiences as much as YouTube. YouTube has been a bit of a struggle, but you have to be persistent, you have to stay dedicated, you have to stay motivated, and you have to innovate. That's what my Twitter bio says, and I will probably never change it from that. Thank you again, Heisman, and yeah, it really means a lot to me, man. All right, guys, so again, this series is something that I'm doing not for myself. This I don't expect this series to get a lot of views, okay? I know that a lot of you guys are here for leeson or my road to masters whatever um, but i also know a lot of you are here for just my personality um, and that's kind of what the series will have is my personality my philosophy my thoughts um, and on top of that i've i made i made a promise to myself when i started that if i ever got big or even medium size which is kind of where i'm at now that i would i wouldn't let it get to my head i would help other people out who needed it and Sam's someone that I've known for the last six months now, like I said, and he's someone that definitely deserves more credit. Um, if there's one, I think hard work doesn't get um, awarded enough in this world, and too many people get have hard work and get nothing from it. Um, so if I have the opportunity to change that just once, that's that's my goal with this series. And Sam's obviously the first person that I talk to. He's a great guy, so please, if you can't do it for him, do it for me. Go check out his channel. Subscribe to him if you like his content. I'm never going to tell you to subscribe to someone just because I said so. Um, but at least check his channel out. Um, and if you like his philosophy, his videos, whatever, um, he has a lot of cool things planned in the future. So go ahead and leave a sub, leave a like, whatever. Um, that's all I really wanted to say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, till next time. Stay strong like the bull. Don't say goodbye. Say hello to my good friend. See, he's all I know. Just know that we still to survive.